Hello everybody, once again this is Michael with Zombie Girl Gaming. Uh, Snowcat, if you will. My official handle, I guess. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to put uh, map additions onto your server. Um, one of the problems with this is, uh, in my opinion, that a lot of people tend to put them on the mission side or the mission PBO rather than putting them on the server side. And the larger that your PBO is, uh, your mission PBO is, the longer of a load time it takes for your users. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the mission side, and uh, it's really simple to do. So uh, we're actually we're not going to use the FTP client for this <coughs> or anything like that. And I'm going to show you two ways to do this in case you're pulling um, your server PBO. Uh, and you'll understand what I'm saying in a second. First thing we're going to do, we're uh, still working on that server from whoops a days, and um, we're going to go ahead and stop the server now. <coughs> and uh, the main thing is, is what we want to try to do is uh, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to do this. The way that I normally do it, this is without the FTP client, of course. And then I'm going to show you, like, if you're with Daisy ST or uh, survival servers or a couple other server companies like that, you can actually pull both your mission and server PBOs. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you exactly what that is on the layer. Uh, a lot of times you'll see somebody will come in and they will put, um, you know, uh, just, you know, unpack your PBOs and do all that. And if you're not familiar with that, especially if you're with the layer, you're, it's going to be a little hard, especially if you're a new user. So what we're going to do <coughs> Because we're going to do this uh, kind of an old-fashioned way. And uh, the first thing is, is we're going to go to uh, File Manager. And then to Villayer Code Custom, which is down here at the bottom. And then we want to deal with our server. Now, as soon as you hit Villayer Code Custom, these are the various servers depending upon what Mac you're running. Uh, we're running a Daisy Epoch. so. Um, that's going to be our server. So we're going to click that. And this is your server file. So the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to want to we're going to want to put our map edition somewhere where we can find them and somewhere where the server can call for them. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder you can name it whatever you want to name it, whether it be maps or buildings or, you know, uh, map. It doesn't matter what you name it. I usually name mine buildings, and it's probably because when I first learned how to do that, that's what somebody said to me, I guess. I don't know. But you can name it whatever you want. And uh, that should pop up. So now we have our buildings here. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do, and I'm going to provide this in the description down below, is uh, we're going to go into our init file, server functions, we're going to hit the little pencil thing here, it says edit, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, alright, past this, uh, this ending colon, I guess. And what we're going to put in there, and I, like I said, I'll put this in the description. I have this already written here. Is we're going to copy down the description, copy this, and we're going to paste it. Uh, let's see. We're going to paste it here. Okay. Now, the thing about it is, is what this is telling the server monitor to do, or server functions to do rather, is to call for that building to be put, or that map addition to be put into the server. Um, so you got to tell it to do that, and that's what that line's for. Um, and so uh, what it searches for is add-ons, daisy server buildings, and then whatever you've named your building SQF file. Well, obviously the SQF file that you're going to see down there is not what you're going to name your building. Um, a lot of times, whenever you download SQF files from people that have that have put them uh, together for you for the map, uh, they'll be named something else. So the whole point is, is this part right here, you're going to rename whatever you want to rename, but leave everything else the same. 
So that being said, we need to find something. So what we're going to do is I have something pre-done for you already. This is a Tikahaya map. And this map is uh, it's an add-on. It's an entire city on Chinaris down by uh, uh, a little bit, I guess you would say, to the west of Kamenka. Uh, it's pretty good size. This guy that worked on this poncho uh, really did an incredible job. I think there's something like 13,000 lines in here. I mean, he did a wonderful job. I have, I've had this up on another server before, and the guy really was amazing. Okay. So uh, what you're going to need also is you're going to need your... You're going to need your uh, Notepad plus plus, and like uh, what I like to do, and a lot of the a uh, lot of the guys that are doing this will put everything down, you know. In uh, of course, you can copy and paste this right here, but what I do is I put I go down to raw paste data, and I hit uh, Control A to select all, and then I hit Control C to copy. All right. Then what we're going to do, we can get out of this, we can get out of this, and uh, we're going to open up Notepad++. And from here, we're just going to hit Control v And as you can see, there's 12,612 lines. <laughs> so this guy did a lot of work. All right, and that's all you need to do for that. The only thing that we need to do is rename it and save it. Or, or save it, rename it, rather. So we're going to go up here to save as and uh, under the f under the uh, save as type right here I want you to click that and go to the top and you'll see all types go ahead and click all types and then rename this whatever you want um, it was named by uh, Poncho so uh, I'll just name it Poncho it doesn't matter what you name it so it's gonna be P O N C H O dot S Q F and then we're going to save it to, let's see, the desktop, I think. I like to find everything there. So we'll save it to the desktop. And that's it. <coughs> we are, uh, we're done with this. So we can close down Notepad. And Poncho is right here. Okay. Now, the only thing we're going to do at this point, we're almost done, is literally go back to our server. And since we've named it Poncho, okay, we're going to... Put that here, P O N C H O, to call for that file. And then hit save. And then the only thing we have left to do is to put that file in our buildings. So we'll click buildings, we'll click upload, and since I know it's on the desktop, choose file. It's on the desktop. We should see Poncho around here somewhere. Poncho, open. And then we're going to hit the upload button here. And that's it. That's all we got to do. Uh, then all you have to do is just go back and start your server and you are done. So, as you can see, we go back to here. We hit start and we're done. So whatever map edition you're doing that with, that's all you have to do. Okay. Uh, if you're making your own map, I might do a separate um, a separate add-on to that. You know, if you're making your own map stuff or your own bases, and then to put them in, I'll do a separate tutorial on that. Uh, now, uh, whenever you see, whenever they say Can you pull your mission and server PBOs, if you're on Bill Layer, if you're on uh, I think Gaming Deluxe a few other servers like that, you're not going to be able to pull your mission PBO. You're going to be able to most likely pull your server. But not your mission. So, uh, if you're with a few things like Daisy ST, uh, survival servers, whatever, <clears throat> uh, it will look something like. Let me see. It'll look something like. Well, if I can find it, let's see. Overpock. Okay, it'll look something like this. This is one of our Overpock servers. I believe this is a Daisy ST server. Um, so at the bottom of Daisy ST or Survival Servers or one of those things, it'll ask you, uh, you know, if you want to download your mission and server PBOs. Uh, once you download those, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a, uh, this is of course a NAP map. You're going to get one of those, and then you're going to get a Daisy server PBO. All right, and then at that point, you're going to have a, 
you need to have a PBO opener or uh, I think it's a pro PBO I think some people use uh, I'll go into that uh, at some other time but uh, basically you go into your PBO manager you extract it and then that's it that's your whole PBO so we were of course working in our server uh, today so if we were going to do our server which I think this is already a server that has buildables in it yeah as you can see I did the same thing I have buildings of course I have quite a few bases here that people uh, have sent me or I've built for them uh, those are all my buildings and then you could see in the in it <coughs> I'm sorry and server functions all the way down at the bottom that's where I got that uh, line that you see in the description right there okay and that's all you need to do and it's in so what I'll do a little bit later is maybe put together something for you so you could see how if you're making your own map stuff uh, it, it it's not much different than this to be honest with you so you know a couple little places you might not know where to look for this for the SQF file or something like that but it's really this easy so thank you for joining us and uh, I appreciate that so go out there and put some map add-ons on and uh, uh, you'll find that at um, uh, epochmod.com or daisysource.com, uh, things like that. And uh, they will uh, have a ton of them that people have created. You can really make your maps look nice, whether it be Chinaris or, or, or NAV or one of the other uh, maps. So thanks for joining us. And uh, remember, check us out at zombiegirlgaming.com. And uh, you can also check out our servers as well. Uh, we have two of them running right now. We have a NAP uh, overpock and we have a, um, a Chinaris overpock. So you guys take care and